Hey everyone, welcome back to the awesome vlog. This past weekend was Memorial Day weekend, the weekend in which we honor our fallen heroes by having massive barbecues, eating lots of food that's unhealthy for us, and drinking lots of alcohol. So the first barbecue I went to was a family one on Saturday where they kind of went above and beyond and they actually made a menu of all the different burger options they were going to have available at that party. You could get something as simple as a cheeseburger, a bacon cheeseburger, or even a Hawaiian burger with grilled Spam and pineapple on it. I kind of went with some of the outside the box burgers that were available. The first one I had was a taco burger which had Mexican spices and tortilla chips on it. It was really good. I had never had tortilla chips on a burger. I know some people put like potato chips when they're eating sandwiches inside the sandwich. I had never done that. I always thought it was weird. Now, after having this burger, I might consider it going forward. The other burger I had was really outside the box. It was called the Tanya, but I'm calling it the Donut Burger. Basically what it was is a bacon cheeseburger on a grilled glazed donut. Here's a picture of it. It was phenomenal. The only downside was they actually ran out of bacon when they started making these sandwiches. And after my first bite, I felt it needed that bit of saltiness to go with the sweetness from the donut. Somebody came up with a brilliant idea of throwing on a piece of that sliced Spam or grilled Spam on the donut burger. I had never had Spam before. I was a little iffy on it. But if you're going to be gluttonous and you're going to eat a burger on a donut, who the hell cares? Threw the Spam on there, added that saltiness. It was fantastic. I would do this again. I recommend it to everyone. The next day, Sunday, was actually a really busy day. Uh, we had a cookout in the afternoon, another family one, and then we went into Portsmouth, New Hampshire for the evening. Uh, in Portsmouth, we checked out a restaurant called Surf, uh, which was what I would almost call a, a Asian meat seafood fusion type place. Um, food was okay. It was it was pricey, but it was pretty good. I got a surf and turf, which had a petite filet and scallops wrapped in andouille sausage. It sounded so good, and it was pretty good, but they overcooked my filet mignon. So, of course, I complained to the waitress, and they said, you know, I asked for this medium. This is clearly well done. She says, "Okay, we'll take the we'll take the fillet back and we'll go get you a new one." Simple enough. So I'll just eat my scallops wrapped in andouille sausage. About five minutes after I'm done eating my entire plate, I'm expecting them to just bring out the petit fillet. No, they bring out an entire new meal: new fillet mignon, more scallops wrapped in andouille sausage. I couldn't believe it, and I'm like, "Excuse me." Uh, I only needed the steak. And they said, no, that's how we do things here. Now, normally, I wouldn't have minded having two full meals for dinner. The only problem was the family cookout in the afternoon. We had chicken wings, steak, pork, corn, sticky rice, papaya salad, sweet potatoes. And this was at like 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So when we were at dinner, I wasn't even that hungry. And now I have two full meals to go through. And you, you just can't turn down free scallops wrapped in anything, whether it's bacon or andouille sausage. If you do, there's a special place in hell for you. There must be. But when the waitress came back over later and said, you know, how, how was your steak? It was still overcooked. But I was so scared. I didn't want to tell her it was overcooked because, God forbid, like, my mind's saying, yeah, tell her. You want, you want your steak cooked correctly. But the other part of me is saying, oh, God, please don't bring me more food. Please don't bring me more food. So on Monday, which was actually Memorial Day, we came back from New Hampshire and we were headed to another barbecue to eat more chicken and steak and veggies where I'm fairly certain I'm going to be in a food coma after this weekend. And we tried to go to a liquor store, but liquor stores were not open on Memorial Day. How are you supposed to honor these fallen troops if you can't buy liquor to toast to them? So the other cool thing I did this week was I pre-ordered the new Ben Folds 5 album. Uh, the band is actually back together. They're, they're kind of doing a mini tour. Um, and what's different about me saying I pre-ordered the album before it's come out when I know it's coming out is it, th what they're doing is basically like a Kickstarter program. The website is called Pledge Music. And you can pledge anywhere from $10 to, say, $2,000. And there's different packages. $10 gets you a digital download. 
say $15 gets you a CD and the digital download, $250 gets your name and a song. Um, they kind of, there's a kind of a variety of packages, so fans of Ben Folds 5, I suggest you check out Pledge Music, get your name on there, maybe even get a song written about you. So that's it for this week on the Awesome Vlog, so until next week, remember to stay awesome.